When it comes to character design, hairstyle goes a long way towards suggesting personality. In this tutorial, I walk you through the steps of generating hair strands, shaping them, and randomizing their length, radius, and curves to achieve cyberpunk-inspired, stylized hair. Here, in the Geometry Notes workspace, I want to add some notes, and the easiest way to do this is to bring up the Add menu and use the search field to find the notes one by one. I start with a Group Input node and a Group Output node. These two nodes are necessary to take the original base mesh and transform it into the final mass of stylized hair. But, to pull this off, I need hair strands. Lots of hair strands. So I bring in a Distribute Points on Faces node an Instance on Points node, an Align Rotation to Vector node, and a Quadratic Bezier node. With these in place, the hair strands are in fact generated, but not yet visible. Until I extend this node tree with a Realize Instances node, a Set Material node, a Curve to Mesh node, and a Curve Circle node. The first group of nodes generates the hair strands, while the second group gives the strands the exaggerated volume required to achieve a stylized look. But, to make the tip of the strands pointy, I add a new branch to the node tree containing a Set Curve Radius node, a Map Range node, and a Spline Parameter node. Here, the spline parameter node outputs a factor that starts from 0 at the base of a strand and increases to 1 towards the tip. This range is then reversed as the factor passes through the map range node to gradually reduce the radius to a point at the tip of the strands. Once these nodes are in place, I usually start by setting the radius of the hair strands on the curve circle node. I then use the Distribute node to adjust their density. Only after I am happy with the density and radius do I move on to the Bezier node to adjust the shape of the hair strands.
But now that I see the result, I'm tempted to individually randomize each strand of hair. In fact, I'm confident I can make the entirety of the hair look more believable by adding some randomness to the length, radius, and curvature of the strands. I start with the length of the strands and randomize them using a trim curve node that takes its input from a random value node. I then randomize the radius using a math node with its operation set to multiply and a noise texture node. I finally add some randomness to the curvature of the strands, this time using a set position node, a vector math node with its operation set to scale, a noise texture node, and a map range node. With the strands now individually randomized, the final form of the hair emerges, more convincing and more interesting. But there are a few things to consider. First, to use this hair generator on a different model with a different size, I need to adjust these parameters accordingly. Second, I kept things simple for this tutorial and limited myself to a single base mesh for the scalp, which is fine for simple hairstyles, but for cases where I'm after something more sophisticated, I take the time to experiment with more than one base mesh. And finally, if you want to know how I created the procedural skin texture on this model, here's the video for that tutorial. As for this one, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.